First thing I'm gonna do is, is reduce it down so that I'm trying to create and turn this into a 180 degree solo puzzle. Because remember, that's how I first started scrambling it as 180 degrees. So next is introduction. Uh, okay, so I can start off. Well, boy, there's, there's a lot to choose from. So I'm just gonna focus on one, the easiest ones to find, which are the ones sticking out. So how about this red and green? All right, so I'll move this guy down here. And now I can anchor myself to the centers, making it easier to, uh, to coordinate. Actually, this green and yellow may be better to do, only because I've already got two that are in. Uh, well, okay, I might as well do this. So the way that we do this is I bring it down to here. I'm gonna bump this out of the way. Like so. I've gotta exchange it with this. So I'm gonna move this down. Move this across, and then get this back up. Boom. Okay, so I like the fact that these are here, um, and I did start working on the green and the red over here. I guess I can continue to do that. More greens and reds right over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of these in with this guy here. So we, we move them down. So these are lined up. I'm going to get them out of the way, turn, move this one in its place, turn them back, and put this back up. Okay, now we just need one more. Final red and green. Right over here. So it's wrong side. Here he is. And turn him over here. Boom. Okay. Move this into place. Some alignment issues here. There you go. I think. Turn. Turn. Now, believe it or not, I just corner cut there. And. Turn. Okay. So, one edge reduced. I was already working on the orange and green. So I've got an orange and green here. Where's the other orange and greens that I was working on? Right over here. All right. So I'm gonna move this into position. Okay, this is gonna replace this edge here as I move this down. Turn. 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 Turn, and then we move this back up. Okay, so we have one more, I think, yep, of the orange and green, which is mercifully right over here. We don't want to substitute in with this, so I'm gonna get this middle one out of the way here. Move this down. 
turn, 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 and up we go. Okay, any more that are in or can be easily placed? Well, I can easily find the orange and white. So move that into position. Or the green and white, rather. So let's move this down to here. Turn, 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 and up. Okay, you're gonna wait. This one can come down to here. So we oh, move them down. Okay, one more green and white. Now again, I'm not putting these edges in because that's not part of my six by six edge. So that I do later. That's gonna be done by other strategies. Okay, gonna move this down like so. Turn, turn. Now a more flat cubic shape is starting to come out which is making alignment and turning a lot easier. And turn. Okay, so now that's it. So what else is ripe for the picking? Well, I've got these two orange, and uh, although this is not participating, so that's not one that I'm trying to put in. Uh, how about green and yellow? Did I do green and yellow already? I thought I might have done that. Nope, okay. So these two, you can see they're not oriented correctly. They're with each other, but they're not oriented correctly. Um, I've got these guys, the blue and the yellow, why don't I start working on those because a lot of them are in already. So this guy goes down. And then we do turn, 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 and up we go. And now we can move this guy down. So turn. Okay, one more, rather, yeah, one more orange and white. Let's see if he's around here somewhere. Nope. And move him down. And we've got turn, 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 and move him up. Okay, so now the orange and whites are in. So we're getting our reduction done pretty well. Right over here. All right, that's gonna be with the blue one down. Okay. Move her down. Cross. Down, cross, and up. Okay, one more blue and orange. Turn. Turn, Turn and up. Okay, we'll just keep doing this with the edges. So I finally have it to the final two edges, which are these two, and uh, place just opposite each other. We'll move this over to here, and then do our final R. Line it up here. F I U. R I F and then this all moves back. 
it so. Okay, so now you can see more order has been created from this. Uh, but uh, the true challenge of this puzzle has only just started because now what we have is we have the 3x3 three three solver. We've reduced our 6x6 six six to a 3x3 three three, and then it's just a matter of doing as quick as we can a 3x3 three three solve where the true challenge of getting this out of a floppy form down to more of a domino form will take over. Uh, we're going to get our cross over here. This comes across to here. We'll move this down. Across. Turn and turn. And let's see, we're going to get this close to the position that it needs to be in. Turn and up. And I think... If all went well, that's our initial cross. Then we just wheel in the corners here. Across and up. Red and blue, which will find a nice home over here. Double turn. So this can have a variety of potential configurations, some of which may be easy, some of which may be hard. And when demonstrating a puzzle like this, with all the variabilities that can happen with the solve, so you never know what configuration. The hope is for demonstration purposes, it's nice and difficult. Just to show you all the possible pitfalls that can happen with this. And finally this one here. Put it down and up. Okay, so there's my first side. Forgetting all of this noise in between. And now it's a matter of rolling these guys in. My middle layer, U R, U I. All right, you notice that the movement is getting easier only because alignment is easier to find now that it looks more consistent, now that a lot of the bandaging or some of the bandaging has been taken down, and the form of the puzzle is a little easier to see. Actually, I can do this first. 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, two 2R, two 2U. Two we can move this one back here. So you need a cautious hand, but not a heavy hand, to move this puzzle. And I think we're just about done with that middle layer. down. 
Okay, well, one more to go. That's this guy here. U I L I U L U F U I and F I. Okay. Here's a middle layer. Now we don't have any 6x6 six six even layer parity with this, so we're just going to take that as a gift. And we have F U R U I R I and FI. Okay, these are where they need to be. Do I have any other kind of parity here? Well, this is where it needs to be, and that's it, which means that there's no other parity here. U R U I L I U R I U I L, which means this had none of the odd, the even to odd layer parity problems that oftentimes afflict an even layer puzzle. It was super easy. So now we just do R I D A R D. Finally, D I R D brings it back, and there it is. All right, so this is the six by six reduction over here. And now it's just a matter of going from our massively confusing floppy version and taking all of these edges down. So what's the best way of doing that? Bearing in mind, there's a couple different ways to bandage this. One is having these rotated wrong. The other is having long ends in, sh uh, in short areas or short ends in long areas and long ends in short areas. So that can bandage things too.